Have you ever tried to debug code while staring at a reflection of yourself? Hi there. This right here is the Apple Studio display. You see, it's super, super glossy. I use a MacBook Pro every day. Why are you okay with that glossy, but not this glossy? And that's a very good question. I've been thinking about that, and I'd like to go through that in this video. I also have a couple of other monitors to compare here. And as you can see, they have very different levels of reflectivity. Now, before I get started, for software developers out there like me, what do you prefer? Do you prefer glossy or do you prefer matte? And why? Tell me in the comments down below. Really curious to find out. I have my own thoughts. Let's get into it. The Apple Studio Display. It's a very expensive monitor, but as you can see, it's super reflective. The key here is to know your environment. This is not my typical programming environment. Usually, it's a little bit more dark in here and I don't have all these crazy reflective lights. I only use that when I'm making videos, but it doesn't mean that this gets a pass as far as uh, not being able to see what you're looking at if you're looking directly at a reflection. This is the Asus 5K display. It's the Pro R 27 inch. And I've recently I made a video about that, comparing it to the studio display and comparing it to this LG that I have back here. But I was comparing the pixel density, 5K versus 4K and how that all works together for software development. I prefer higher pixel density. So naturally I'm leaning towards the 5K displays for that, but you'll notice that I'm still using the 4K displays on my desk. Why is that? The LG back here and the one over here are the ones that I've had here for a number of years. And I keep coming back to them because look at this. It's matte, but it's a very different kind of matte. It's between this matte and glossy. So it's not only matte versus glossy, it's the level of glossiness that you have or the level of matteness, whichever side glass half empty half full you pick so first let's talk about why i use the macbook pro display with the glossy finish not the matte finish which is available now uh, with the new line of m4s and the reason is size screen size this is a 16 inch display so when i'm on this it's very easy if there's some glare in the background to just slightly shift the angle a little bit and get rid of that glare altogether so if i'm standing right here and i'm looking at this screen that's a pain that light that i have over there in the corner is causing this huge reflection on my screen and it's going to get in the way but if i tilt the screen just a bit it's all gone not only is it a smaller screen which makes it easier to get rid of any kind of reflection that's happening there that's bothering you but also it's really easy to maneuver i can turn the base of the computer and i can turn the lid any way i want so that i can get rid of that glare perfectly acceptable if i did have a choice of a matte display would i still get it well no because i think that displays that are glossy actually do look better that's my own personal opinion of course you may have your own but i've been staring at these screens for many years and i can tell you from personal experience that they look sharper and cleaner i don't have any scientific proof of that except what i've seen on youtube and if you're researching this stuff you might have actually come across these as well all we got to do is open up a white page i'm just going to go here into the the body and delete the body of the HTML and we get a white page. <laughs> if I look really closely at the screen, there is absolutely nothing except just white. And if I turn up the brightness, wow, it's clean, it's clear. But if I do the exact same thing on one of these other screens that's matte, these little rainbow effects going on. If you move your head a little bit, you see a little shimmer that's happening in the screen. And yeah, it's a big white screen, but there's gonna be white colors like this or bright colors everywhere when you're looking at a screen. They're gonna be maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. If you're looking at code especially, you're gonna be seeing that directly or indirectly. Last night I threw a task at an LLM, crushed the async logic, but still couldn't center a div. Seriously? That's why even after decades of coding, I never stopped leveling up. Tech sprints forward and you can't outsource the basics. Enter boot.dev, today's sponsor and hands down the most fun way I've found to master backend web dev. Quests, XP, leaderboards, even an AI wizard bear named Boots guiding you so you can actually finish courses. Python, Go, JavaScript projects galore. I'm midway through the cryptography path and I've been slaying the coding challenges literally or maybe figuratively, I'm not sure. And that's way more engaging than binge watching lecture videos. Expect a lively discord, step-by-step -step solutions when you're stuck, and curriculum that maps straight to job-ready stacks. 
I once spent half a semester of college coding on paper. Boot.dev gets you building real APIs before your coffee even cools down. You can browse every lesson for free. A membership unlocks the interactive coding arenas, AI hints, progress tracking, and game mechanics. Ready to level up? Hit boot.dev with the link below. Use my code and snag 25% off your first payment. I'll see you on the leaderboard. Let's pop open a code window here. So here I am zoomed into that uh, matte display. And this is the medium matte display, by the way. I'll get into the other one. All right, let's switch that to here. And this just looks cleaner. Like the edges of the fonts are sharper. So it's a combination of things, right? First of all, we've got a retina display here on the MacBook Pro, and we've got a 5K display here with a studio display. Whereas back there, that matte display, the LG that I've had for years is 4K. So yeah, there's gonna be, clarity of text is gonna be affected by that also, but the matte coating also affects it. So it's like a combination of those factors that makes it look not as clean. Why do I keep using those though, you might ask? Well, here's the other point. First of all, if I'm in this office and I'm working on a large display like the 27 inch back there and I have all these lights on, that's gonna pose a problem because I won't be able to maneuver that screen as easily as I can a MacBook Pro lid. I can maneuver it. That's why I have it on arms so I can easily maneuver it like this, way easier than if it was on a stand, but not as easily as a MacBook Pro. Second, larger surface area on a 27 inch display. And that's why the studio display doesn't quite work for me. It's the best display I've ever had, but it's first of all, a large surface. So it's gonna capture a lot more reflections, a lot more glare. Second, it's not as maneuverable. I have the tilt version. Sure, if I had the vase mount version, it would alleviate some of those problems, but still I have the glare problem. And then if we go to the opposite side of the spectrum, we have this, the Asus 5. 5K display, and that one is the most matte display I've ever seen. I'm really surprised because I thought, you know, art people like to have glossy display. I don't know, it's just like some weird thing I have. Art people don't necessarily have to like glossy. But here's a matte display by Asus. Text looks great because of the 5K display, but you bring it into a room, that has bright lights and suddenly you don't only have one focus point that you can just hide by moving your screen but now if you have a source of light that's shining at the monitor it's completely diffused throughout the entire monitor. And you might say, well, diffused is good, right? No, it's not good because it's gonna be spreading that light out across the entire monitor. So it's like taking one source of light that's in one spot and just smudging it all over the place. Which brings me back to my LGs that I've had here for years. And the reason why I think I tolerated them for so long without even realizing it is because they're in between. They're not as sharp and reflective as a studio display. They do have a little bit of diffusion, but not too much. So when the light hits it, that light is diffused, but it's only diffused within a certain range, a certain area. So then I'm gonna come full circle on you here. And I'm gonna tell you how I normally use my office when I'm not making videos. Turn off these lights. And then I'm gonna turn on my ugly overhead light. But you know what? I don't care, cause that's not how I make videos. You don't need to see anything. I'm not showing you anything. This is for me, okay? So I'm gonna turn off this thing too. And I'm gonna turn off this one. Totally boring, but it kind of sets a different atmosphere. It's a different mood. And now my LG monitors that I have back there have pretty much no reflection. Nothing that can get in the way of me seeing my code and it looking good. The MacBook Pro screen, same thing. Unless I tilt it up to see my ceiling light over there, which is kind of a weird angle to be working at, I have no problem. Finally, the studio display. <laughs> Hi there, you can still see me, right? I've just plugged in the monitor. Once in a while, I can see a reflection of me, but it's not a problem at all. As long as you're in an environment where you don't have a backlight, I mean, I'm, I'm saying pretty obvious things right now, but here's a demonstration of it. There is no problems at all with the reflective monitor. In fact, you're gonna see that it looks slightly better. All right, so here we are working out with the light bar. Just kidding. Okay, so you can see that I have a white screen and this one is the Pro Art display. This is the studio display and that's the LG that I've had. You tell me, which one looks better? If you're still that developer using light mode on everything, I mix and match. I'm not gonna shame you. It's okay to use light mode, but I can tell you right now from looking at this, wow, that Pro Art display with the maximum matte finish completely decibates that reflection and you can't see it at 
all. Whereas here on the studio display, you can see it and you can somewhat see it here on the LG, but take away the background light and suddenly they're all fine, except this one is obviously a little bit darker. It's an older monitor, so it's not as bright as some of the newer ones, but that's not what we're talking about today. Now in this environment with my ceiling light and no backlights, now we're going to judge these monitors solely on their clarity, right? Not any kind of reflectivity. And if we remove this nasty white background and we look solely at code, look at this. If we're looking at completely dark screen, the studio display looks better here. Much sharper, cleaner image. It even looks like the text is brighter than the completely matte display. And here is my old time LG. It is darker, of course, overall, so it doesn't look as good but let's add a light source. And suddenly things have changed again. Studio display, most reflective, of course. This one is just nasty smudge. And my trusty old LG, I may have just made a fool of myself in public in this video, but that's okay. I guess I don't like this either, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not as reflective as this one. It's not as diffuse as that one, but it's still the brightest reflection and the most annoying reflection in this particular environment. Environment, folks, is key. I think I would pick this one in this case, because then I could just reposition my head. Let's say you have a light down there. I could just tilt this up a little bit and get rid of it, then I have my ceiling light. But that's a whole different story. So folks, as you can see, it's not night and day. It's not black and white. It's not dark or light. <laughs> it depends on the environment. Now I gotta rethink whether I'm gonna keep the studio display or not in here. But <laughs> hopefully this was a good test and uh, I certainly found a few things out. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Again, I'm asking you for that because now you have more information, but obviously there's a lot of choices out there for the different textures, different matte finishes, whether you have a backlight behind you or not, all these things make a difference. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.